Hello Australia, it's Big Mike, and as you guys can see, I am foolishly wearing a white shirt having some barbecue. I just got this hot, fresh, yes I know I like it charred, barbecue chicken right off the grill. You guys can see this video right here. This is hot and fresh. And now, what can I put on my hot, fresh barbecue chicken? That's right, barbecue sauce. Not just any barbecue sauce. This is Eda barbecue sauce. This was sent to me by the great Licky not too long ago. And I know that normally, at least here in the United States, when you barbecue or you grill chicken, you put on the sauce on the chicken during the last portion of the cooking. Well, I figured since I've never tried this before, I didn't want to have it just baked on. I want to try it in its raw and purest form. So, this is my very first time trying Eda barbecue sauce. So, let's open the lid. You guys can see in here. Fresh and open. It smells really vinegary. Hmm. Oh, forgive me. Gotta give it a good little shake first. Gotta get everything up in there. And let's put this on our chicken. Let me get this a little bit closer to the camera. Let's see here, look at that. Ooh, that's nice and brown. Wowza. It's definitely brown. It has a nice flow to it. And according to Licky, he said it's not gonna be like most American barbecue sauces. It all depends on what kind of barbecue sauce you get here. I know that Memphis barbecue tends to be a bit more sweet. St. Louis barbecue sauce tends to be a bit more spicy and a little bit more mustardy. My favorite barbecue sauce is the original sweet sauce that Sonny's Barbecue has in the great state of Florida. So, now that I've had tomato sauce from Fountain not too long ago on my uh, Anzac Day video when I made those pies. I'm excited to try Australian barbecue sauce, especially with some fresh barbecue chicken. There it is right on there. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see what eat a barbecue sauce tastes like. Here we go. Hot. Mmm. All right. Hmm. It is sweet. Hmm. definitely on the vinegar side. I like how thin the sauce is and how it flows. Most barbecue sauce that we have is so thick you have to basically smack it out of the bottle, but eat it tastes really good. This tastes fantastic on this chicken. Mm. As you guys have seen, I like to take the skin off of the chicken. Try to cut that fat somewhere. Right. For what it's worth, as you can see with this. Damn, this is hot. With this sauce. Terrific. You guys just never cease to impress me. Hmm. Now it doesn't have the it doesn't have a strong smoky or a strong hickory flavor like a lot of American barbecue sauces have. But judging by its thin, free-flowing nature, it makes it ideal for dipping things like chicken nuggets or potato gems, even french fries. 
I would say that this sauce is ideal for things like this, barbecued or baked chicken. I think it would be excellent on a burger, but as far as my expectations are concerned, it's damn good stuff. Because obviously, look at me go. Can't stop eating, it's just too good. Thank you very much, Licky. You've done it again. Well, that wraps up my taste testing of Eda barbecue sauce from the great Licky from the great Southern land. But just before we go, I want to do something really quick. We have both of these barbecue sauces here. So I want to see a comparison of ingredients. This, of course, is the Australian made Eda barbecue sauce. This is the American-made Kroger sauce, which can be found at Kroger grocery stores or other subset of Kroger's, such as Smith's in Las Vegas, Ralph's out here in Los Angeles, and many other Kroger affiliates. So let's go down the, just, we're not gonna do a taste testing. I'm just gonna simply do a list of ingredients. So for Eda barbecue sauce, we have sugar, water, white vinegar, tomato paste, malt vinegar, oh my, wheat flour, salt, glucose, caramel color, food acid, spices, vegetable gums, and just flavor, as it says. Now, what does American generic barbecue sauce have? As predicted, what's the first ingredient? Give you a hit. It ain't sugar. It is high fructose corn syrup, followed by tomato, excuse me, tomato puree, then distilled vinegar, then apple cider vinegar, molasses, modified cornstarch, salt, caramel color, and contains 2% or less of the following extra ingredients. Artificial smoke flavor, mustard seed, spices, dried onion, dried garlic. And finally, let's look at a single calorie count on these. For the Eda barbecue sauce, one single serving of your calories is 280 kJ. I'm, I don't know if kilojoules, I don't know, kilograms, I don't know. But basically, we're gonna just go by percentages. You have 3% of your daily whatever it is with this. And with this, your daily serving is, hmm, you know what, that was kind of pointless because I don't know, but I know that the calorie count on this is 60, 60 grams and this one is 280 kJ, which I don't know what that means. So no matter, I definitely like both sauces, even though this one has all that artificial junk in it. But when it comes to natural flavor, this really did not let me down. I really like this. And it's a shame that we don't have this here because now I have to be quite limited with how much of this I use because it's so good. But overall, that is my complete review and my very first taste testing of Australian barbecue sauce. You, Licky, once again, fabulous job, sweetheart. And again, for the great Southern land, you guys just continue to get better and better with each passing thing that I try from you guys. Whether I ingest it, I see it, or I listen to it. Thank you guys very much for watching my review today of Eat a Barbecue Sauce. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Look out for more food and taste testing reactions, including coming up very, very shortly, my first time reacting to 40% less sodium Vegemite. And then finally, we are going to have a yeast spread smackdown. And that includes everything, everything from Vegemite to Marmite to Cheesy Mite to Pro Mite. You will see it all. And we will line them up left to right and find out who has the best yeast spread in the land. So look forward to that as well. And of course, look forward to more movie reviews and music reactions. And 
Coming soon, more theme park talk. So stick around. Take care and ooroo.